it's coming into the winter months here in Australia, it's starting to get colder, so it's time to get some of that nice warm comfort food into you. This recipe is absolutely perfect for a winter weekend where you don't really feel like doing anything complicated, you just want to pot around the kitchen stirring things and chopping things with no real effort needed. It's chicken pot pies on The One Pot Chef. Here we have a snaplock bag. In the snaplock bag I have put half a cup of flour. Any flour will do, I'll just use plain old regular flour. I also seasoned it with some salt and pepper and put in a teaspoon of mixed dry herbs. Any dried herbs will do, as long as it's got some kind of rosemary in it because rosemary just goes fantastic with chicken. So put all those in and I've put in half a kilogram, 500 grams of chicken thigh fillets which I've chopped up into little slivers. You don't want big chunks, just little chunks basically. Probably no bigger than a thumbnail. So we just put it in there and we just massaged it round like that until it's all nicely coated. Then we can just sit that aside while we do the veggies. In the saucepan I have got some olive oil, just plain old olive oil, you don't have to use anything fancy. And I'm throwing in one onion, which I have just diced up. Honestly, I'm two seconds into the video, I've already made a mess. Dropping onion everywhere. I'm also putting in two sticks of celery and one large carrot. Now, when it comes to the carrot, make sure you've got them into little pieces, just very small, because the bigger the pieces of the carrot, the longer it will take for them to cook. So, those are those in. I'm also going to throw in some crushed garlic. I'm just putting in a teaspoon or about a clove. You can put in more if you prefer. And we're just going to mix them around. About two to three minutes we're just going to cook these, just enough to soften the onions and get the carrots to start cooking. It's been a couple of minutes and these onions are lovely and soft now and the carrots are starting to cook. So we're going to throw in our seasoned chicken, just toss it straight in and we're just going to stir that around, get it coated in those lo that lovely oil and the juices from the veggies. Absolutely yummy, this, this smells amazing already. Now this flour has two functions, one it helps to season the chicken but it's also going to create this beautiful, thick, delicious sauce that's going to cover this chicken and make these pies absolutely fabulous. Now, here I have four cups of chicken stock. Now, I'm just cheating and using the powdered stuff, so I've just added it to some hot water. Just going to add it a little bit at a time. Stir it through. Don't try and use it all at once, otherwise it will just become a mess. We want to add it a bit at a time, so it will get added into that flour. All of our stock is in and I'm just going to add a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Not much. I just find Worcestershire sauce adds that lovely richness to this that really makes these pies sing. So we're just going to mix them up like this and we're going to pop the lid on and let it simmer on the stove top for about 15-20 minutes until it's reduced a bit and it become nice and thick. Well I've allowed our mixture to cool off off the heat for about five minutes or so and we're ready to fill our little ramekins. Now these are pretty cool little things to have because you can use them for desserts, you can use them for savoury dishes like we're doing today. They're great to have in the cupboard. Now this mixture will actually fill eight of these little babies but I've only got six at the moment, so I'm going to have a bit of mixture left over. So all I'm going to do is pop it into a snaplock bag and put it in the freezer for the next time I want to make some pot pies. Now, I'm going to do this off camera because I'm going to make an absolute mess if I try to do this on camera. But I'm essentially just going to fill up these pots with the mixture. Pardon me for a second. There we go. Did that rather well, actually. As you can see, I've just filled it up to the line, so it's about one centimetre or half an inch down to the top, because if you put it up any higher than that, when you put them into the oven, it's going to boil over and it's going to make a mess, you're going to get upset, you're going to cry, you're going to scream and throw things, it'll be ugly. So 
up to the line, fill up all the pots, and then we're going to put our pastry on. Now I'm using two sheets of puff pastry out of the freezer and I'll just cut it into quarters and we're going to put a quarter on each pot like so. Now you can just leave it like that and it will droop over the sides and become this big square of pastry that droops over the sides or you can neaten it up with a knife. You just basically cut around the edges like so. Like so. <laughs> it's hard to do this when I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. But essentially, yeah, you just cut around the edges with the knife. And that looks pretty good there like that. Take away the excess there. And just using the knife, we're just going to create a little hole in the top. A steam vent. Lovely. And we just do that to the rest. So these are ready to go into the oven. I've just sprayed them on the top with a little canola spray. Alternatively, you can just brush them with a pastry brush with some milk or some beaten egg. Now, the time in the oven is dependent on the pastry you're using because different pastries have different times. Just check the back of the packet. It's usually around 220 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the pastry is puffed up and gone nice and gold and fresh out of the oven are chicken pot pies. These smell absolutely fantastic. They've filled the house with this lovely chicken savoury smell. It's fantastic. As you can see, we've got that lovely pastry on top that's got lovely golden and flaky. We've got that lovely chicken mixture underneath. We've got a bit of the gravy actually spilling out through the air hole there. It's oh yum. I want to dig in and eat one right now. So I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. All of the ingredients are in the video description and you can check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.